Hello guys and gals, Buffalo here. I'm down here at the range today doing a little testing. I've got some Remington Slugger rifled slugs. Now, they give us a little bit of information on the side of the box here. They give us our muzzle velocity, which is rated at 1,560 feet per second. Of course, that's gonna vary from shotgun to shotgun. And they also give us our trajectory. They're telling us that if our sights are 1.5 inches above the bore and we're zeroed at 50 yards, that these slugs will drop about 4.8 inches at 100 yards. So that's nice information to know. Now, they've also got written on the side of the box, slugger rifled slugs are designed for optimum performance in smooth bore barrels. Rifled slugs may be fired through any choke. However, improved cylinder provides the best results. Now, you guys know me, or at least you guys that have been subscribed to the channel for a while, when I read something like that, improved cylinder provides the best results. Well, I wanna know what the other results are. What about a cylinder bore? What about modified? What about a full choke? So today, I've got a, some uh, choke tubes down here. I've got a cylinder bore in the shotgun. I've got us an improved cylinder, which is gonna add a little bit of choke. And remember, that's the one Remington says is gonna give us the best groups or best performance. They don't specifically say groups, but I assume they mean uh, groups. I've got a modified choke, which is gonna add even more constriction. And I've got a full choke, which is gonna be even tighter. As that slug leaves the muzzle, it's really gonna put some constriction on it. So we know these slugs can be shot through any choke. They are foster slugs, American rifled slugs. There are some slugs out there that you shouldn't shoot through any choke other than a cylinder bore. But these are foster slugs. If you want to look up Carl Foster and, and why he designed this style of slug, feel free to do that. Do a little research on it. Now I've got us some targets made up. These are big targets. And I did that purposely because I don't know what kind of groups we're going to get out of this shotgun. This shotgun is a waterfowl shotgun. It's not a good choice for a slug gun. The barrel is overboard about five thousandths of an inch from a standard 12 gauge. So the slugs aren't gonna fit as tightly as they would say in a Remington 870 or a Mossberg 500. But it's not overboard so much that it's unsafe to shoot slugs through, such as a Mossberg 935 or 835. Those barrels are bored oversized almost to 10 gauge standards. So it is safe to shoot through. I will be curious to see if we get any leading or anything like that. And our groups are gonna be large. Go ahead and expect that. But I wanna see what the difference between the groups is, between each choke, to see if, uh, see if it makes a dramatic difference. Will the, the slugs tumble, you know? When, when we squeeze them through that full choke, they may tumble. I don't know. That's what we're here to find out today. So I've got to say lane cleared. I don't have a shooting bench here. Uh, I've tried, you know, making up some shooting benches from time to time, and they're always real wobbly and shaky. So I'm going to be shooting from my mat uh, in the prone position. I've got a shooting lane cleared to 90 yards. I wanted to get 100 yards out of it, but that's as far as I can go back and have a line of sight to my backstop. So it's going to be about 90 yards. I figure that'll still be a far enough range to see if that group, you know, really grows or really shrinks with the different choke tubes. So I want to stop flapping my jaws here. Let's get started. All right, so let's get started here. I've got the cylinder bore choke tube in. Got my others ready here. We'll switch those out between groups.
All right. I'll go down, put a new target up, switch out to the improved cylinder choke next, and we'll hit it again. All right, we've got our improved cylinder choke tube in. I went down and changed targets, reset the downrange camera, changed the choke tube so the barrel should have had plenty of time to cool. So starting a fresh three-shot group. All right, time to do it all again. Switch the target out, reset the downrange camera, and put in the modified. Got our modified tube. I didn't notice a lot of difference between the cylinder and the improved cylinder choke tubes as far as group size. So let's see if the modified choke affects it one way or the other. All right, let's do the old switcheroo one more time. All right, we'll do this one more time. 
we'll go to a full choke. All right, so now we can get back to the table, take a look at these targets, and see what our results are. All right, guys, so let's take a look at these results. So jump right in here we started out with the cylinder bore we got a three and three quarter inch group from center to center of the farthest two holes improved cylinder we got a four inch group so cylinder actually was just slightly better than improved cylinder but that could have just been the shooter you know that actually they're pretty close to being the same thing with the modified, we went to five and a quarter inches. Again, that's not, when you're talking about shotgun slugs, coming out of a gun that's probably not gonna group that well anyway, that's, that's not the difference that I was looking for. I was hoping to see these dramatic differences. And full, we dropped back to a four inch uh, group. So, really not that big of a difference, regardless of, of which choke we fired it through. We probably averaged around four inches, just a little over four inches on our groups. Um, kind of surprising. I, I thought maybe with the full, we would get really spread out or maybe get some tumbling or something like that, but four inches, not, not the greatest groups in the world. I'm not saying they're great groups, but they're consistent with one another regardless of which choke I used. So I found that interesting. Looking at the shotgun barrel, I took it off and examined it. I don't notice any more uh, fouling than normal from normal, you know, birdshot shotgun loads. So pleased with that. I thought with the oversized bore, even though it is slight, you know, slight in shotgun terms, uh, shotgun bores, they're kind of rangy. They, they run all over the place, especially with the 12 gauge being so popular. People try different things to lessen recoil and improve uh, patterns and stuff like that. So bores can vary a lot from one shotgun to another. Uh, rifle bores, five thousandths of an inch would be a lot, but not so much with the shotgun bore. And I didn't see any more fouling than normal. Uh, the choke tubes all look good. Didn't notice any extra fouling with those. Uh, you guys may have heard some steel ringing when I was shooting the, these targets. I put this uh, defense targets, RST target, up behind these just to keep from chewing a hole in my backstop back there. Picked up these, uh, these slugs. Thought that was pretty neat. This uh, RST target has just been an excellent target. 
Danny sent that over to me from Defense Targets, so a little shout out to them. Really appreciate that. I've really, uh, I've had this thing for a while now, and I've really abused it, and it stood up to everything I've thrown to it. So that's really all I got today, guys. I am working on some range improvements. I'm going to widen my, bi my backstop back here and thicken it. I'm going to double up what I've got here. Uh, I'm going to try to build me a bench shooting uh, 12 gauge slugs from the prone position is not the funnest style of shooting I've ever done. I can tell you that from today's experience. But I am working on some improvements. Things cost money. Things cost time. Uh, things move slow around here at the Buffalo Range, but that's just the way it is. VidMe got shut down. You guys that were follow, following me over at VidMe, I appreciate it. They're shutting down this month, so that's over. I have created a Patreon if any of you guys are interested in helping out. Much appreciated. But that's all I got for now. I'll talk with y'all again soon.